Marvel Comics is coming to a high school theater near you. A man gets 60 days in jail for poisoning his wife's cup of coffee. And the Amazing Spider-Man issue number 14, Angry Girlfriend Variant, returns this week on Community Coffee and Comics. As if taking over the big screen wasn't enough, Marvel Comics is coming to a high school center stage. That's right, folks. Marvel is teaming up with the theatrical company Samuel French to bring you three one-act plays that's aimed for high school productions under the name Marvel Spotlight. These plays, described as ordinary people doing extraordinary things, will focus less on visual effects and more on the emotional journeys that these superheroes go through. VP of Creative and Content Development of Marvel, Stephen Wacker said, we hope to give the next generation of Marvel fans a chance to bring those stories to life and explore what it means to be a superhero right in their backyard. The three one-act plays include Hammer, a Thor and Loki play, Squirrel Girl Goes to College, a Squirrel Girl play, and Mirror of Most Value, a Miss Marvel play. Oh man, there's some crazy people out there. So a man in Michigan was sentenced to 60 days in jail for poisoning his wife's cup of coffee. Oh yeah, did I mention the 60 days will be served on the weekends? So after Therese Colosi started to feel a little sick and drowsy and a little suspicious, after her drinking her morning cup of coffee, she sets up a hidden camera in her kitchen. That's where she finds her husband, Brian. Brian, Brian, Brian. <laughs> poisoning her cup of coffee with antihistamines. Brian pleaded no contest to poisoning his wife's cup of coffee, but claimed that he wasn't trying to kill her, just trying to make her not go out as much. Whatever the heck that means. Therese often claimed that after drinking the cup of coffee and feeling dizzy and sick, on the way to work, others would honk at her to prevent her from running into them. And one time, her daughter drank the cup of coffee and then felt sick at work. Considering the victim and the endangerment of others on the road, prosecutor of the victim, Eric Smith, considers the sentencing a slap to the face. The soon-to-be divorced couple were married for 22 years and have three kids. Yowza. The legendary Amazing Spider-Man issue 14, Angry Girlfriend variant, has returned. So this particular issue is kind of like a legendary item. It was passed around between comic enthusiasts and comic shop owners until someone actually got it graded. Recently, Aaron Myers obtained the comic and actually took a photo of it and posted it on his Twitter account. The comic, to face by an angry girlfriend, is made out to someone named Chance, and on the front cover, big black bold letters saying, go to hell, with further instructions on the back, which says, in no way am I trying to be noble or anything. I never thought I'd be able to destroy something that meant so much to me. As far as I'm concerned, you're dead. Ouch, Chance, ouch. The comic book actually scored a 1.8 out of 10, which means it's readable, has some creases and some scuffs, and also a jealousy issue. A high grade issue of Amazing Spider-Man number 14 can be worth quite a bit of penny. Once on eBay, it was sold up to $10,000. Although the Angry Girlfriend variant has marks all over it, it is a legendary issue and some say may be worth a couple thousand dollars. All right, guys, here's a quick look at the comic books that are coming out this week, August 7th. Guns, cars, and chaos. And that's all you need to know from this series premiere from Image Comics, Coffin Bound number one. The insane Cletus Cassidy returns to New York and wants to paint the town red in absolute carnage number one. And last but not least, for those who are interested in reading comics but don't know where to start, Image is coming out with another line of Image First. Image First are all reprints of the first issue of Amazing Stories published by Image Comics. The best part about it, it's only a dollar. Some of the fantastic number one reprints coming out this week is The Ice Cream Man, Unnatural, Criminal, Isola, and more. So head over to your comic book store and take advantage. And that wraps it up for this week's Community Coffee and Comics. 60 days served on the weekends. What did you guys think? Let us know in the comments below and we will talk to you later.